With this video going up on my birthday, I figured that I would cover a very special cruiser. The HMS Tiger is a 5.7 British light cruiser from the Battlefield Engineer event and is actually the reason I began playing naval in the first place. While this ship may be past its heyday, don't listen to the people saying light cruisers are irrelevant in the heavy cruiser meta. I can confidently say that the HMS Tiger can still pull its weight. The history of the Tiger class is pretty complex. Originally being laid down in 1941, the first of the ships was commissioned in 1959 after a long redesign process. It only took until 1964 for the ships to be redesigned yet again, this time being converted into helicopter carriers. By 1979, all three of the ships were decommissioned. Being Cold War gun cruisers, it's safe to assume the HMS Tiger would have a pretty advanced weapon system, which it most certainly does. The HMS Tiger's primary armament consists of four 6-inch 50 QF Mark N5 cannons in two turrets, one in the front of the ship and one in the back. These turrets boast an incredibly high 20 RPM. Not only do these guns have a fast reload, they also have a relatively tight dispersion, letting them deal very consistent and high damage to whatever target is being fired on if the player is constantly updating their aim. Both turrets have full 360 degree rotation. The main cannons have a 6 inch HE shell with 7.1 kilograms of TNT and 56 millimeters of pen, an APCBC shell with 884 grams of TNT and 271 millimeters of pen, and as of update 1.97, an HEVT shell with 7.1 kilograms of TNT. Overall, the HE is the best shell. With HE filler approaching that of an 8 inch gun, it's simply the best shell for dealing a lot of damage quickly. The APCBC is good for destroying ammo racks due to the tight dispersion, but the low explosive filler keeps the shells from doing that much damage otherwise. The HEVT will be excellent against aircraft due to the large explosion size, and it's worth bringing some, but this area is already well covered by the AA weapons. The secondary armament of the HMS Tiger is six 3-inch 70 Mark VI cannons in three turrets. Armed with HEVT shells and having an absurd RPM of roughly 170, these six guns serve as the strongest anti-air armament on any cruiser in War Thunder. With the excellent tracking and elevation angles of the turrets, these guns can shoot down planes regardless of their range or speed. They're particularly effective against large planes like strategic bombers as they're unable to dodge the streams of HEVT shells due to having a wide hitbox to detonate them. At very close range, these guns can also deal significant damage to ships due to their high fire rate and high explosive filler. Now for survivability. The HMS Tiger is a mixed bag. The first stage ammo racks constantly get detonated, but it doesn't seem to really do any damage. The belt armor is alright at 89mm, but there's no bridge armor, meaning it's prone to losing steering. The turrets are very large, meaning that they can easily be hit and disabled. Yet, for some reason, the ship just refuses to die. It can consistently take a beating due to the 880 member crew. It's quite surprising from how the ship looks, but I'd say the HMS Tiger has very high survivability, only being beaten by vastly larger cruisers such as the Graf Spee or Admiral Hipper. Mobility-wise, the HMS Tiger is subpar. With a top speed of 58 km per hour, average turning abilities, and average acceleration, it's a bit worse than other light cruisers, but not terrible. It just isn't anything notable either. For playstyle, the HMS Tiger works like an artillery ship. You stay within a range you can consistently hit at and barrage the target until they're destroyed. The surprisingly good survivability lets it win in most direct gunfights, and the alright mobility gets it to where it needs to be to do so. The biggest threat to the HMS Tiger is ships with a large range advantage, such as ships with 8 inch guns. While it stands a better chance against 6 inch armed ships, those still pose a threat due to the low armor. The Graf Spee is a different matter. The insane firepower of the 11 inch guns means it can kill the HMS Tiger in one barrage, and it can engage from such a range that the HMS Tiger can't retaliate. Really, all you can do against the Graf Spee is hope it doesn't target you until you're in range to fight back. In EC, the HMS Tiger is a bit weaker than it is in normal matches. The relatively low speed and low range of 6 inch guns make it more vulnerable to heavy cruisers, and the lack of bridge armor means that even a well piloted destroyer can be a threat. It isn't a bad choice, but with the HMS London coming, it isn't the best either. Despite being an event vehicle, the HMS Tiger isn't actually a premium and doesn't come with any modifications unlocked. For the unlock order, I'd recommend Toolset. Fire Protection System, APCBC, Rudder Replacement, Propeller Replacement, Shrapnel Protection, Improved Range Finding, Ammo Wetting, and Engine Maintenance. Important crew skills for the HMS Tiger are Leadership, Main Caliber Reload Speed, Crew Interchangeability, Fire Prevention, and Ship Control. Finally comes the HMS Tiger's cost. As a vehicle from an event that's long past, it's only on the Gaijin market. The price is a staggering 90 Gaijin coins, and only 31 are for sale at time of writing this. I would say the cost of this ship isn't reasonable for most players, especially those looking for an effective grinder, as the HMS Tiger doesn't have a talisman or premium bonus. The HMS Belfast suits this role better. 
I'd mostly recommend it to someone with a genuine interest in the ship itself, who also doesn't mind dropping 90 bucks on it. Thanks for watching. I was expecting to cover a 1.97 ship in this review, but with the update coming later than I'd expected, that wasn't an option. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to support my channel so I can get all those new 1.97 ship reviews out as soon as possible.